Hi all, welcome back to Pharmachemistry Classroom. Today I am here with Quinonoid Theory, Part 2 of Theory of Acid-Base Indicators. According to this theory, acid-base indicators exist in two tautomeric forms having different structures. The two forms exist in an equilibrium. One form is termed as benzenoid or benzoid form and the other one is quinonoid form. They both are resonance structures. These two forms have different colors and the color changes due to the interconversion of one form into other. Their existence depends on the pH of the medium, that is, one form exists mainly in acidic medium and the other is in alkaline medium. Thus, in acid-based titration, we know that there will be change in pH of the content of the conical flask or the analyte after the equivalence point is reached. So, this change in pH converts one tautomeric form to another and thus the color change occurs. Let us take phenophthalin, a weak acidic indicator. It exists as benzoid form or benzenoid form in acidic medium and it is colorless in acidic medium. While it has quinonoid form in alkaline medium which has pink color. This is benzoid form which is present in acidic medium and this is quinoinoid form which present which is existing in alkaline medium. So after the equivalence point when the excess drop of sodium hydroxide which is coming from the burette make the conical flask alkaline in nature and thus the benzoid form which is colorless will convert into quinonoid form which is colored that is pale pink colored. This is how we can get the end point in acid based titration when phenophthalene is used as an indicator. This is quinonoid theory of acid base indicators. Thank you for watching.